Say it with me, Dollaroni. It's one of the cheapest brands of paint at Walmart and you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve tubes of paint for like seven dollars, y'all. Rogu is our victim today by popular demand. Thank you everyone for voting. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let me make this straight for you, even though it's crooked for me. I love that this paint isn't watery. Look it, look at it. Most cheap acrylic paints have the runs, if you know what I mean, but not Dollaroni. I really hope I'm saying that right. This is exciting because I can add water to this paint and start with an under base. I start all of my paintings with an under base because it helps me get into the painting without committing to anything. Commitment. It's difficult. Using this process, I can establish basic shapes and color and come back to make adjustments whenever I feel like it. The underbase also helps me get familiar with how easy or difficult the paint is to work with. Right now, I'm really getting up in Dollaroni, like I'm just trying to figure out how to use this paint and how I can make it work for me. And I can tell you right off the bat that this paint is not bad. You can see on the right that I'm able to mix a variety of colors and the layering looks pretty good. There's always an elephant in the room and now that my painting looks like a two-year-old did it, I can start adding some layers. Sometimes cheap acrylic paint can flake off as you gradually build layers, but this brand is holding up. And let's put another layer here. Yep, I like that. Let's keep adding more and more layers to give Grogu some life. Okay, time to switch to a smaller brush and make some magic happen because a smaller brush can do things that a bigger brush can't. Detail, I'm talking about the detail. A smaller brush can really get in there and add the detail that a painting needs to make it look more realistic. It's time to start adding white to create lighter opaque colors that will fill in all of the detail. This white is exceptional. It has everything that you would expect to find in a good white paint. It's opaque with a hint of transparency and it's easy to blend. Like where can I buy a gallon of this white? This white paint is the star of the show because I used it to mix all of the lighter colors for this half of the painting. It took me a long time to get the colors right. This side of the painting took about four hours to complete, but it was worth every minute to show y'all what you can do with cheap acrylic paint if you take the time to figure out how it works. Drum roll, please. I give Dale Roney a six out of 10. I would paint with this again. I would also recommend it to a friend. Hey, if you're in Walmart and you wanna buy some cheap acrylic paint to get started, this is what you should pick up. My only complaint is that I wish it came with a larger tube of white. I use a lot of white and it's almost all gone. Let's pull off that tape so we can compare our Liquitex paint. Look how creamy Liquitex basic acrylic paint is. That's creamy, that's delicious. But don't eat it, it's not safe for consumption. Clearly I love it. This is my favorite brand of acrylic paint. At the moment, I have yet to find a better version of acrylic paint. I'm still exploring alternatives, but that's for another video. So let's do it. Let's start this side the same way. I'm watering down my paint and creating a layer of multiple acrylic washes. Do I say that funny? Washes. And the difference is obvious. Look at how vibrant the Liquitex paint is. The washes also blend more easily into each other, which has to do with the creamy texture I showed you. For the sake of consistency, I wanna match this side of the painting as close as possible to the original. At first, it wasn't going so great because it's really hard to dull down Liquitex basic acrylic paint. Like it is vibrant as heck. So to dull it down is kind of a crime, but we're gonna do it anyway. 
we're gonna be bad. And besides, the Mandalorian television show has a slight dull color to it. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but everything is kind of grayed out. It's a little bit orange, maybe kind of blue. So we're just making Grogu look more like his television self. After a lot of patience, the colors look close. Please, please, please don't be offended by Grogu's hand gesture. I know what it looks like, but it is not that, okay? The face is always the hardest part. Grogu is cute, and it's difficult to capture the essence of cute on paper. But I think we're getting there. This side of the painting only took me about two hours, which is why I give Liquitex a nine out of 10. It's easy to mix colors and it blends well on paper. The biggest downside to Liquitex basic acrylic paint is the price tag. Each bottle is sold separately and can range from five to $8, depending on the size of the tube you purchase. But you guys, in this case, it's actually worth it to pay a little bit more. Yes, you can achieve something that looks pretty dang good with cheap stuff from Walmart. The differences are subtle, but when you compare the Daler Roni side to the Liquitex side, the Liquitex side looks a lot smoother. Grogu has a lot of wrinkles, and I think in this case, it's easy to get away with a cheaper version of acrylic paint. My heart lies with Liquitex, but what do you think? Which side is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Click the video on the screen if you want to see another art comparison video. And I'll see you there.